what what do you want to gain with him coming to explain especially when he's coming on the day of the settlement of the domestic election on the Valentine's Day would that change anything for the millions out there who definitely are desperate for if, somebody to intervene on your behalf if I say has to it has to change something it has to change something for a number of reasons one the budget as approved we appropriated for the minister responsible for finance an amount for the minister to use to service our domestic debt. The minister cannot unilaterally, after parliament have proven that kind of money, decide to not to pay those debt as and when they fall due. So for example, on the sixth, we have appropriated for you. So the Appropriations Act gives you a, a backing for you to pay and you have still defaulted in the payment of 4.2 billion Ghana cities. But that point you make is a, it, it's, it's, it's a great one. Yes, that, in what sense? I mean, Parliament has already... Yes. The money is there. It's there. We have appropriated for him. And yet, that, that, and yet he that has failed to pay. Has happened. So he needs to give us an understanding why he's failing to do that. Again, in the same budget statement, we have appropriated for him to be able to pay for the euro bonds and other foreign debt. This year? This year. So they are all in the budget. But do we have the money? Or you, you can okay, buy so, something, so, you so, have so, but has he informed us that he doesn't have the money? Mm. The budget was approved in December. We are only in February. So what has changed from December to February? In fact, he defaulted in, 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 in a, the first default was in January 18th. Yeah. So between December 31st, in fact, the budget has to take effect from 1st of January, 18 days, and you are breaching the budget already. So these are the concerns that we believe the minister must appear before us. Again, most of these loans were approved by parliament. The terms and conditions were approved, and you can check from the constitution. The terms and conditions of these loans were approved by parliament. The minister cannot unilaterally, I mean, vary those terms and conditions without coming to parliament and seeking permission from us. He has done all of this without us. Is that what you for me to, to come and seek permission? Because no. that's not what it is. Okay, so as to, he, he can come, not only brief, but to seek permission. Because he can't, he's, he's restructuring Ghana's debt, not his personal debt. But this, but this ship has sailed. I mean, it's not, well, you, we'll see, not probably we can, we, can, we can stop this ship midway, the you, sailing. How? Probably. Let we we'll let wait and see what will happen I mean, but on Tuesday. Sounds impossible. Well, let's see, let's wait and see what will happen because I believe that this debt restructuring must be crafted in such a way that certain individuals should be exempted, such as individual bondholders and pensioners. And from the one, you will notice as part of my debate in the 2023 budget on the floor, you can go back to it. I had cautioned that pensioners must be ring fence in terms of the restructuring of this debt. And you can go back to countries where this has been done and you see the exemptions that we are seeing. In one breath, the minister informed us that individuals are not part of it. The following week, the individuals are part of it. So you can see flip-flopping of policies. And there's a government that doesn't really plan before they take decisions. And this has been the modus operandi of this government. From 2017, they bring a policy today, the next week they remove it, bring another one. They are not ready for the job. Just not ready. And I think the time has come for us to confront this bad governance head on, for them to be aware that there are people out there that cares and this country does not only belong to them. And so there's the need for us to put the brakes so that they don't put this country into a pit of no return. I think we, are, we care about that and it's something that we will really work hard to ensure that we will not tolerate or countenance any more poor governance. That's something we are not going I mean, to do. So, so the 